Hi everyone, it's story time. I'm Miss Allen. I am in the Story Tower at Billings Public Library and I am ready for story time this week. How about you? Let's get started. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round and one little child sits quietly down. Alrighty, so this week we are going to have story time about soup. This is the time of year when we eat a lot of soup. It's a nice quick meal sometimes and it keeps us warm when we've been outside in the snow and the cold. So let's talk about our letter of the week. What is that? Has anybody ever seen that letter before? That is a Q. Can you say that? Q. So Q starts quick, queen, quiet, quickly. Lots of words that start with Q that we use a lot. Usually you will see Q and U together when you have a word. So quiet, quick, queen, those all have a Q-U sound, qua, qua, qua. So Q is our word for the week. This is a fun one if you want to practice writing Q because it's a circle. So you're going to make an O, but then you give it a tail. So you would make an O and then give it a tail. That's a capital Q. Pretty fancy, huh? Alrighty. So Let's get started with some stories about soup. What kind of soup do you like? Do you like chicken noodle or tomato? Maybe potato soup, broccoli soup, or as like in these stories, a kind of stew with vegetables because most of these stories, all three of these stories, kind of talk about vegetable soup. So this is Is That Wise Pig by Jan Thomas. She has some great funny books. Who wants to help me make soup? I do. Here's one onion. Here are two cabbages. And here are, what number was going to be next, do you think? Three umbrellas. Three umbrellas? In the soup? Do we put umbrellas in our soup? Is that wise, pig? Is it a good idea to put umbrellas in your soup? Oh, I guess not. Alrighty, so now we're on to four. Now here are four tomatoes. And here are five potatoes. And here are comes next. Six. Six galoshes. What are galoshes? That's right. Those are rain boots. Six galoshes in the soup. Is that right? Is that wise, pig? Oh, I guess not, he says. Okay, so we did six. Now what number's next? Seven. Now here are seven, what are those? Green beans. Here are eight Brussels sprouts. And here are, what comes after eight? Nine carrots. Yes, pretty wise, huh? Will carrots be good in your soup? Definitely. And what comes after nine? I asked 10 hungry friends to join us. Was that wise, pig? Look at them coming running. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Better use the galoshes and the umbrella. Are they going to make a big mess with that pot of stew? The umbrellas and galoshes were a pretty wise idea, pig. Thanks, cow. There's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? 
I'm gonna sorry. sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Something's missing. What is that, pig? Me! Did he jump in the zoo? Pizza? Yeah, we'll eat pizza. Those crazy pigs. Look at the lashes on their heads. Carrots and potatoes flying everywhere. <laughs> ah, that's a pretty cute story, isn't it? Alrighty, so the first song we're going to, uh, rhyme we're going to do is called Pea Soup. Alrighty, so first let's count to five. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty, so as we say the numbers in this one, Normally, we would put them our fingers up. This time, we're going to put our fingers down. Okay? So, here we go. One little pig jumped into the pot, and he waited for the soup to get hot. Two little peas jumped into the pot, and they waited for the soup to get hot. Three little peas jumped into the pot, and they waited for the soup to get hot. Four little peas. How many fingers we got down? One, two, three, four. There we go. Four little peas jumped into the pot and they waited for the soup to get hot. Five little peas jumped into the pot and they waited for the soup to get hot. Finally, the soup got so very hot, all the peas jumped out of the pot. Did I scare you? <laughs> Oh, so we're going to do that one next time. I'll put the words up and we can practice our counting, right? That was fun, wasn't it? Five little peas jump out of the pot. All right. Our next book is by Anita Lobel. She's one of the writers of Frog and Toad. And this is Ten Hungry Rabbits. A little closer smaller book there they are there's the rabbit family mama rabbit was sad i have nothing to put in my soup pot for dinner she said but mama whined the little rabbits we are very very hungry rabbits there is the garden said papa rabbit you are sure to find good things for mama's soup pot there ten little rabbits agreed and off they hopped What did they find first? Do you know what that is? So there's one. What color is it? Purple. And who knows what vegetable that is? The first rabbit found one big purple cabbage. Alrighty. So now we have how many? We have two. What color are they? White. Anybody know what those might be? The second rabbit pulled up two white onions. Alrighty, here we go. What color is this one? Yellow. And how many do we have? One, two, three. The third rabbit broke off three yellow peppers. Now we have four. And what color are they? Red. The fourth rabbit picked Four red tomatoes. They could kind of be apples, but they're not. They're tomatoes because we're in the garden. All righty. Now we have five. What color is that? Pink. The fifth rabbit dug up five pink potatoes. Ooh, those are good in soup. Now we've got six orange what are those you think let's listen the sixth rabbit yanked up six orange carrots good job if you picked carrots Alrighty, now we're on to seven what color are those seven things that's right those are brown the seventh rabbit spotted seven brown mushrooms Alrighty, then we have how many? Eight. Color are they? Blue. The eighth rabbit gathered eight blueberries. 
Oh, now, what do we have there? I think so. Well, let's see. We have nine green peas in a pod. The tenth rabbit remembered he had ten, color is it, black peppercorns in his pocket. Peppercorns make it a little spicy. <gasps> Look at the basket of fruit, vegetables they brought. Here comes dinner, cried ten hungry little rabbits. What nice rabbits we had have, said Mama. What strong rabbits they are, said Papa. Pete, Papa Rabbit sliced vegetables. Ten hungry rabbits waited. Mama Rabbit cooked soup. Ten hungry rabbits waited. The rabbit family sat down to bowls of delicious vegetable soup. Yum. The happy rabbits were hungry no more. Did you help make soup? You did for those 10 hungry rabbits. Alrighty, so we're going to do our pea soup one. And then I have a new song called Noodles in My Soup. Because we need noodles, don't we? Don't you love noodles like chicken noodle? Alrighty, so I'm going to put the words up to pea in my pea soup. Excuse me. Remember that we're going to start with our five fingers up. And we're going to come down with them as we do the rhyme, okay? So start with your hands up. Here's the words. One little pea jumped into the pot and waited for the soup to get hot. Two little peas jumped into the pot and waited for the soup to get hot. Three little peas jumped into the pot and waited for the soup to get hot. All righty, four, so make sure you have four fingers down. Four little peas jumped into the pot and waited for the soup to get hot. Five little peas jumped into the pot and waited for the soup to get hot. Finally, the soup got so very hot and all the peas jumped out of the pot. Alrighty, and then the other one we're gonna sing is Noodles in My Soup. It's kind of to the same rhyme as if you're happy and you know it, ready? So it goes, there's noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. Can you make noodles? There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. There are oodle, oodle, oodles of the most delicious noodles. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. <gasps> Did you like that one? Can you be noodly? Can you make your body noodly? Your hands, your head. All right, let's try it again. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. There are oodles, oodles, oodles of the most delicious noodles. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. What? Alrighty, here we go. Now there's a giraffe in my soup. What? Giraffes belong in your soup. I don't think so. Giraffes in my soup. And this is by Rosh, Rosh excuse me, Rosh Bershass. Giraffe in my soup. What? My goodness. Okay, here we go. Today's special, Sonia's tomato soup. Well, that sounds good. Excuse me, waiter. There's a giraffe in my soup. Well, this is a fine restaurant, sir. That simply cannot be. Look at that. There is a giraffe in your soup. A new bowl of soup for you right away. He goes running into the kitchen. Here you are, sir, a fresh bowl of soup, minus the giraffe, of course. Bon appetit. Hello, little frog. How did you get in my soup? Now there's a frog in his soup? Ha 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 ha, you're not a frog. Waiter, waiter, an alligator, please hurry. My soup is trying to eat me. A new... Bowl of soup for you, chomp, right away, said Alligator, trying to eat the waiter. <gasps> Here you are, sir, a new bowl of soup, alligator free, enjoy. Waiter, waiter, save her, save her, please hurry. There's an elephant in my soup, and I don't think she can swim. <laughs> Look at, he's blowing soup all over that waiter.
waiter, waiter, hurry back. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, yuck, yuck. Is there a yak in his soup? A walrus, an ostrich, shh, a sleeping koala, a snake, a whale. Look at that tiny bowl of soup. Um, can he just eat around the whale? I don't even see the soup bowl anymore. Here, at last, your soup. <sighs> Roaring with flavor. La, 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 lion! Lying, 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 enough of your complaints. Sure, I made a minor gaffe with the giraffe. Maybe overlooked a whale. But when it comes to taste, I am a professional. Do not dare accuse me of lying. Why didn't you say something? Did he try to tell him lying? But he thought he was lying, not a lion. I am terribly sorry, sir. It seems there have been a slight mishap. The zoo was sent our food, and we were sent their animals. Let's just skip the soup. Maybe the dessert. <gasps> dessert is our treat. Look how beat up that poor waiter looks. One moose with a cherry top. I don't think that was the kind of moose he wanted to eat. Never mind. I'm eating somewhere else. Where do you think he's going to go? Wait for me. Did he get in line at the zoo so he can get the food that went to the zoo instead? Table for one. You're feeding all the animals now? That's a good one about having a giraffe in your soup instead of oodles, oodles, oodles of the most delicious noodles. Alrighty, so we're gonna do pea soup together and then I'll put the words up so you can practice noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup, okay? Before we sing our last songs and then get into our flannel board, I wanted to remind you about all the things that are happening at Billings Public Library. So even though we are closed, you can still put items on hold with your grown-up and then get them picked up via curbside. You can also pick up the craft that Miss Molly does after I do story time. You can pick up all the supplies to do that craft at curbside. Remember, if you have older brothers and sisters, we have take and make kits for them every month. And a January kit is origami. So those are gonna be for your older brothers and sisters, not for you. We have the story time crafts for you already. And we'll do a new um, big craft for the bigger kids every month, right at the beginning of every month. Also, family reading starts next week. So starting on February, excuse me, January 19th, you can sign up on Read Squared, which is the software that we used for summer reading, which is the software we use for a thousand books before kindergarten. You can sign up as a family and every day that you read for 20 minutes, you can go in there and and check off that you read for 20 minutes. Once you hit 20 days with 20 minutes, then your family gets entered in for a prize. We have some gift cards to some local communities, uh, excuse, excuse me, some local businesses in the community. And if your family wins a gift card, won't that be exciting? If your family completes the program, you do get some coupons and fun things for participating. We will, for every family that registers, we will work with you to get you a book bundle sent out via curbside. So when you register for family reading, it's going to tell you to contact us via email and we will um, set up your book bundle so that you can pick up a couple of books to get, your starting, get you started on your reading journal for family reading. This runs all the way through the end of February so you have plenty of time to get your 20 minutes per 20 days done. But we'll go ahead and register ahead, uh, you know, starting on January 19th, and then just go in every day that you guys to read together. The importance of reading aloud as a family cannot be oversimplified. It is so important that you read aloud. That time you can build a bond when you sit with your children and you read a story. If you have older children, it's still very important that you read aloud to them. It gives them an opportunity to 
have some time with you, which may not always happen. And it also allows you to maybe read some harder stories with some more difficult subjects that you can really delve into and have a chance to talk about. So I encourage all of you to participate in our family reading program. It's not hard. Registration is very easy and it only takes 20 minutes a day for 20 days. We all could use 20 minutes together just to read. And it can be any book that you choose to read for 20 minutes a day for 20 days. So if you read the whole Harry Potter series during that time, that works. You're just going to have to log in and click that you read 20 minutes that day. Um, for little kids, that's a great opportunity for them to learn that the words you say are the words on the page. And so you can give them some... Um, reciprocal information about that and just share a great opportunity of spending some time. Sometimes it's really hard to find that 20 minutes, but so important. And right now when we have so little opportunities to hang out with people we love, being able to do it with our kids is, is important. So I will get off my soapbox, but I'll rec I do recommend that you jump onto uh, the children's webpage starting on the 19th, which is a story time day, and get on and get registered and start reading. So let's do our two songs before we do our final word. So let's do pea soup. Are you ready? Here we go. Five fingers up. Very good. One little pea jumped into the soup, waited for the soup to get hot. Ooh, jumped in the pot, waiting for the soup to get hot. There we go. Two little peas jumped into the pot, waiting for the soup to get hot. Three little peas jumped into the pot, waiting for the soup to get hot. Four little peas jumped into the pot, waiting for the soup to get hot. Five little peas jumped into the pot, waiting for the soup to get hot. Finally, the soup got so very hot, all the little peas jumped out of the pot. Very good. All righty, make your body all noodly. Here come the words for noodles in my soup. There they are. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. There are oodles, oodles, oodles of the most delicious noodles. There are noodles, noodles, noodles in my soup. Alrighty, so we're back with our flannel board and this is called Stir, Stir, Stir the Soup. And it's to the tune of Row, Row, Row the Boat. We're gonna put some vegetables in our soup pot so we can make some soup. So do you see my soup pot? Put soup pot and I have a soup ladle because we're gonna can you slurp? Can you slurp some soup? So here we go. We're gonna stir first. Then I'm gonna show you a vegetable that we're gonna put in our pot and then we're gonna slurp and then the soup's gonna make us strong. So then wanna see your muscles already. So Stir, stir, stir the soup, stir it all day long. Add some, who knows what this is? Tomatoes, add some tomatoes. Take a taste. Soup will make us strong. Already, you ready? Stir, stir, stir the soup, stir it all day long. Add some. Remember what these are? Mushrooms, that's right. Take a sip, you ready? Take a sip. Soup will make us strong. You make your muscles? Very good, ready? Alrighty. Stir, stir, stir the soup, stir it all day long. Add some, who knows what that is? That's a potato. Add a potato, take a taste. <sighs> Soup will make us strong. Good job, alrighty. Stir, stir, stir the soup, stir it all day long. Add some, what are these? Onions, take a taste, ready? <sighs> Soup will make us strong. Very good, alrighty, our last one. Stir, stir, stir the soup, stir it all day long. Add some, what is that? Carrots, 
Add some carrots, take a taste. Soup will make us strong. You think your soup's gonna make you strong? There's our ladle. Good job, all those vegetables in our soup. Alrighty, so, and I am super excited for next week's story time because next week's story time is pajamas. So Miss Allen's gonna wear her PJs and I hope that you wear your pajamas when you watch our story time and sing all of our fun pajama songs. It's gonna be lots of fun next week. And I think there might be a llama in some red pajamas. Might even be a children's library and Miss Allen in some red pajamas. What do you think? Yeah, alrighty. So remember, look for next week to get signed up for family reading. Make sure that you visit curbside to pick up the craft that goes with this because Miss Molly's got a very fantastic Campbell soup craft after me. So until I see you, stay safe, stay warm, eat some soup, and let's say goodbye. On my face, I have a nose. On my feet, I have ten toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. I have two arms, I reach up high. And with my hands, I wave goodbye. See you later, guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. This week's theme is soup. So um, we are going to have like a cool mini art lesson and talk about pop art. Andy Warhol and his soup paintings. And then we'll make our own. So it'll be a little bit different today, but it will still be super fun. And we'll get to learn, which is cool. Um, so one of my favorite artists is Andy Warhol and he is a pop art artist. Um, pop art came around in like the 1950s, so a pretty long time ago, um, comparatively. Um, and pop art is art that is inspired by popular culture, so it could be like things that people do advertising for or um, just everyday products like these soup cans, or it could be um, things in the media, or like comic books, like um, Roy Lichtenstein did um, pop art, and he did sort of like a comic book, book style, um, style of art. So Andy Warhol did these really cool paintings of, um, the Campbell's soup um, and he did like all 32 flavors I'm not sure how many flavors there are now but at the time there was 32 and he painted all of them um, and they're red and white and so he painted those originally red and white but um, after a while he started doing like crazy silly colors um, for his Campbell's soup. So he would do like really bright, beautiful colors, which is a lot different than the soup that you would see in the store. Um, so it was kind of, he just made it fun. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our own um, pop art Campbell's soup cans and they're going to be super fun. So you will get some worksheets to do them and you can color or paint or whatever you want to do um, and you can use as bright colors as you want you can make silly kinds of soup like this one is blueberry soup which is kind of a silly kind of soup and then at the end i'll show you how to do one more craft so let's make our let's make our art together
I'm going to start with this one. And I didn't paint. I'm just going to color these. So I'm going to make the can normal. Like I'm going to do a gray can and then I'll do colors. So I'm using like a combination of um, like crayons and colored pencils. I sort of had a hard time finding um, fun soup crafts, so I thought it would be cool if we did something a little different this time. Okay, so I've colored my can and now I'm going to do, I'm going to make the type of soup. But I have to color a little bit. I'm gonna just do egg soup. I did like an egg shape. And I'll color it white, even though it's already white. So I'd like to do bright colors. Mm, I'm gonna stick with crayons. If you didn't want to color, you could paint. Um, I would, we, the, we use regular printer paper, so maybe watercolor would be best on this. Here's my soup. So you can color this too and do all kinds of soup or your favorite soup, whatever kind of soup you'd like. Um, and then another project that I included um, that you can do, you can color this and cut it out and then you can tape or glue it to um, something that's the shape of a cylinder. So the shape of a cylinder is like a tube shape, like, like this. So the top and the bottom are flat and then um, it's a circle. So anything that's,
sort of a cylinder shape you can use. You could also use a regular can, but um, I would be careful because sometimes they can be sharp. So you'll have to have a grown up help you. Um, but yeah, so that's what you do with this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed our mini art lesson. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.